Hello, SCB families. Today, what we're going to be working on is a new um, packet or a new set of uh, crafts. Um, I'm going to start with our letter. Um, and our letter of the day is X. Um, and so X is for <laughs> wax. I'm not a fan of this particular one. I wish they had come up with something else. Um, but, you know, here we are. Um, X is also for x-ray um, and for box. So we'll put our X here for x-ray, our X here for box. We can draw our lines here if we want to and do our x-ray and then we can do our tracing lines to do wax um, this is a wax seal that would have been um, on an old uh, letter as a way to close the letter before we had um, uh, envelopes where we could um, just uh, lick them closed and have the glue stick. This is uh, the old way to seal a letter, which is just in um, in our old uh, wax seal. Um, doing this today with uh, uh, colored pencil. I don't know. I don't think that you all have colored pencils in your packets, but um, here's our colored pencil. Um, X is for wax. I'm gonna set this one off to the side. Um, and these are tra our tracing lines for the day. Um, and they're just simple uh, little straight lines if we can, um, as best we can with either a colored pencil or crayon or marker, whichever thing um, your kiddo wants to use today. I didn't start with a video today um, because um, not really sure how long today's activity is going to last. Um, and so I figured what I could do is in class, I can show a video um, if I feel like we have time at the beginning. I don't wanna um, really hold you too long because I'm not really sure how long uh, today's activity is gonna take. Um, it's our first page in our color book um, and so your kiddo can uh, do their book of colors uh, and they'll have all of the colors uh, by the time they're done. So there's our tracing lines for today. And so what we're working on today is we're working on the very first page of our color book. And our color is red uh, for today. It's where we're gonna start. And you're gonna see that I just um, got some marker uh, on here. Um, and so what I would suggest is if your kiddo is gonna use marker, that you take uh, an extra piece of paper and you just stick it underneath this one. And that way, um, if the color bleeds through, um, you don't have to really worry about that. It'll bleed onto an extra piece of paper. So red, red, R-E-D, an apple for you and a cherry for me. Red, red, R-E-D, what are some red things you see? And so this packet is, um, while it is about a color, um, by the time they're done, they'll have all of their colors. And this packet will actually allow for um, them to do a bunch of activities. So on the first page, we can just try to color in the word red with our red crayon, our red marker, um, your red colored pencil if you have colored pencils, whatever it is that your kiddo would use um, as their preferred art material. So here's, we're gonna color in the word red. We're gonna read um, this poem to them like I just did. Um, and we can read it to them again if we want. Um, but red, red, R-E-D, an apple for you, a cherry for me. Red, red, R-E-D, what are some red things you see? And that moves us to the next page in our packet. So we're still on our red packet. I'm going to take that blank piece of paper. I'm going to stick that under here so that I don't have to worry about making a mess on my pages underneath. And here's where we talk about um, what color things are with kids. So is a cow red? No, it's not. So we're not going to color that one. Is a stop sign red? It is. So we can color our red stop sign. Now, I'm worried about my colors bleeding through because I'm using a marker. If I don't wanna to have to worry about that, I can put the marker away and get out my red crayon, okay? So is the sun red? No, it isn't. 
All right, how about lips? Yes, lips can be red. So we'll just color in those lips with our red crayon. How about an owl? Is an owl red? No, owls are brown. Suns are yellow, cows are black and white. So now we can do our owl. It's brown. Okay, how about a cherry? Yep, this bottom part of the cherry is red. So we're gonna color our red cherry. How about a crab? Well, before it's cooked or after? <laughs> before it's cooked, it's kind of blue. After it's cooked, it's kind of red. So we can color this little guy um, our red crab. And we made a crab either last year or this year. I think, was it this year that we made a crab? We did, we made a crab this year with our ocean crafts. So there's our red crab. A bee is yellow. And this is our tomato. So we can color our red tomato. And so we're just trying to focus on um, things that are around us. We can get them to say cow. Okay, is that a cow? It's a stop sign. The sun, okay. Lips, an owl, cherry, a crab, a bee, and a tomato, okay? This is the next page in our packet. We're gonna leave this one for last. Okay, we're gonna come back to this one. Okay. Now with this one, this is really cool because what you can do with this one is this is up to whatever you have at home. If you have stickers at home, if you have uh, bingo dotters, you have Play-Doh, um, if you have some glitter, you have markers, you have crayons, anything you have that's this color, you can put in here. So I have some, um, I have a couple of red, now they're gonna stick together since I'm trying to take them off for you. I have these little red flags that I use when I read textbooks. So I can fill some red in there. Okay, put in my red flags. If I had, um, I have some, I don't have any red Play-Doh, but if I did have red Play-Doh, like here is, um, I have orange Play-Doh, but if, I mean purple Play-Doh, but if I had red Play-Doh, what I could do is I could get my kiddo to take their Play-Doh and make it into um, the letter, okay? So that's something that you could do, all right? So that's another way to use um, this page. Then the other thing, another thing I can do is, sorry, I'm just trying to get enough light on here. It's really dark in here today. It's starting to be dark outside because um, it's cold and yucky day. All right, so let's see how that works. If that works a little better, let's try that. So that's how we could um, do this. Now we could also do it where we do exactly what we did on the front of our page where we just practice coloring in the letters. So we could do that too. Um, and there's nothing wrong with taking a minute uh, to color in the letters because it is still working on that fine motor work that we want our kiddos uh, to practice. So let me just get this one off of here. And um, if you don't have stuff that you wanna stick on there, stickers, pom-poms, anything like that, uh, you can stick anything to it. You could also have them color it um, in different, um, materials. So I'll color this one with my crayon. I can color this one with my colored pencil. And if I put my paper under here, I can color this one with my marker. Just get my D for red, and with here's where we can practice our letters as well, R, E, D, okay? We're gonna turn to our next page, and this is up to you and your kiddo and what they are comfortable with and what you are comfortable with. You can color in that word red again. So this is a lot of fine motor practice. You can color in that apple, have them say apple. If they are good with their fine motor and you wanna get them to write, you can have them trace these letters red. You can make the dots for them and have them write the word red. 
And then the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to look at the apple is red, 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 and we're going to find the word red down here. So we're going to look for the word red and we're just going to circle it. We're going to circle anytime we see the word red. I think I got them all. And then once we do these pages, we can go back to our craft page. And this is going to be really our, our craft for the day. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your glue stick. I'm going to get a second one. I always am afraid my glue stick's going to run out. So I always, I only got one out today. I don't know what I was thinking. So we're going to get out our glue stick. And then what I did was I took some of my scrap because remember I keep all of my scraps and I just took out a piece of red scrap and I tore it into little pieces like that. Okay. And then when I was done, I ended up with a pile of red construction paper pieces, just like that. And what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna make a heart out of these red construction paper pieces, okay? So I'm gonna get out my glue. And if you want to, you can take this whole page out, just tear it out like that. And then you don't have to worry about getting glue on some of the other pieces because what you can do at the end is when you're totally done, you can staple all of them together and you'll have a book um, about each of the different colors. So I'm gonna keep all of mine, but I'm gonna take out my craft page. And what's great about this purple glue um, is that I can put some purple glue down just a little bit and take my red pieces and put them down where there's purple glue. Just stick them in there. And then when I run out of glue, I can just put some more down and stick my red pieces on here. And I'm gonna put my pieces really close together. If your kiddo puts their pieces really far apart like this, they don't wanna fill everything in, that's fine too. That's up to you how much you wanna get them to fill this in. But I'm gonna put my pieces kind of close together. And this is, if it were glass or tile, this would be a mosaic. So what we're doing is a paper mosaic. Okay, so we're gonna do our red. We can talk about what shape this is. This is a heart. We can talk about um, what, we, um, what a heart makes us think about. A heart means love, that we love somebody. We can talk about uh, who do we love? We love mom, dad, grandma, okay? Um, and then we can remind ourselves of what some other things were that we colored that were red. Um, we colored a crab, we colored um, an apple, we colored a tomato. Um, so we wanna think about the things that we colored that were our, our color of the day. Um, we can talk about our letters. We can fill those letters in in a minute. Um, uh, R-E-D, um, what are the red things we see? Uh, and so you'll see that I can go a little more spaced apart up here, right? So these are a little more spaced apart in this upper corner, and they're really close together in that bottom corner. And that is because it is whatever your kiddo wants to do. We wanna to try to keep them inside that black area and what's great about this is every once in a while, just to make sure that we pressed hard enough, we can just pick it up and shake it, make sure nothing fell off. And if it doesn't fall off, that means we pressed hard enough when we put our paper down. And again, you'll see I do this when we're in class too. We turn the paper so that we're the place that we're trying to glue or work or color or whatever is the closest to us. And we try to keep that area close to us so that we're not having to reach so far over the stuff we already did to get to the stuff that we're doing now. Okay, and so that is where we're working. And I just tore a pile of red papers before I sat down to do this. And it doesn't take a lot, uh, but you'd be amazed at how much it takes. Um, I tore what I felt like was a huge pile of red paper and I'm a little bit out so I'm going to tear some new ones here and it's just a matter of tearing some paper off 
and sticking it down. You can let your kiddo tear this paper if you want. That is fine motor skill too. Um, but you have to make sure um, that, um, you know, that you make clear to them that we only tear paper when we're working on a craft for art. Um, so it's kind of a slippery slope. If your kid, kiddo can understand that we're just tearing paper for this craft, we that's fine. Um, if you're a little afraid that if you let them tear this paper, they'll want to tear all the paper, then you can tear the paper for them. Okay. And so with our craft, we made our red heart. Put the lid back on my um, on my thing here. I'm gonna get out my my crayon, and I'm gonna do. The letters R, E, D, and then I can do my name. Okay, and that's our that's our craft for the day. And I know that it is doesn't seem like we're coming up with some big giant thing. We have just a sort of a small thing. I'm going to hang all these up in the hallway. Um, along with our earlier crafts. But what's really cool about it is that when we're done, you're gonna have a book of colors um, that you can read with or use anytime um, to work with your kiddo on identifying their colors. Um, we did our tracing page for today and we did our letter of the day, which is X. And I will see you next time where we'll do another page in our color book um, and another uh, little craft like this, uh, and I will have a video for you next time. Thanks for coming, and I'll see you again next time.